Hello, and welcome back to three scary games. I hope you're strapped in. I hope you're ready. We have been gone for far too long. Once and third, we will take on the scares. Ah! Chopping block is something called chasing the static and I absolutely adore this style. This is just a demo for it I saw it on Steam and I I just love it. It looks like the Blair Witch Project Which is one of my favorite horror movies of all time. Let's see what options we got. Wow. We got a lot Cool 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 love options new game. Why not? Oh baby Oh, that's lettering. You shouldn't do that. The vibes in here are immaculate right now. Look at that rain effect. Damn, you're pulling out all the stops in this game. Oh, am I playing? Oh, I'm over here admiring visuals, as always, when I should be playing the game. Um, headlights, gear stick. What if we just grind our gears? Can I use the headlights? Hold on, I need to get into the car to do it. Wait, are the headlights on or off? Okay, they're off now. Wait, maybe I should... Maybe I should have them on. Uh, gear stick? <laughs> I don't think that's how gears work. Ooh, coffee cup! Yes, indeedy! Don't mind if I yes! That's been out for a while and is stone cold at this point. But luckily, coffee tastes good cold or hot. That's right. I just realized I'm not paying attention to the road. I'm over here staring at the passenger seat being like, I wish I had a friend right now. I don't want a friend. I don't want my friend. So what am I supposed to do? Hit something? Do something? Kill somebody? Can I? Can I drive the car? Let's turn the headlights off. Let's make it some risky business. You know, if I'm gonna hit something, I don't want to see it. It'll just make me feel bad. Oh, the glove box. Hold on, I have to get my. Let's get my roadmap. Ah, yes. <laughs> this is safe. How did I survive? The horror in this game is me. Oh, France and Germany. Whoa. Oh, God. Have we driven into, like, Silent Hill or something? Last stop. Dude, this is awesome! I absolutely love these sort of like VHS-y looking games. Mm. Stop by for another bit of coffee. Can I open up the glove box? Let me just get on my mobile! Dear Samantha, It's been several years since we've been together. I still think about you all the time. Whenever the rain lands on my window. Whenever time just seems to slow down for a moment, I think of us and that dump truck finesse you had. That really wow. Cool. That's, uh, that's pretty creepy, dude. The only other thing I heard on those rainy mornings was the clap of those cheeks as they really filled the room with excitement. <laughs> All right, let's get out. <laughs> what are we doing? So this is gonna be a full game eventually and I'm very excited for it. Looks cool. Can I ride the bike? Travel down the street. Who needs a car when you got a bike? Look at the trash. Find yourself. Ooh. Christ alive! You almost gave me a heart attack. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let me guess. You got lost in the storm. Let me guess. Solid snake face. War has changed. Ooh, choices. Are you still open? It's been a long day. I'm headed east. Are you still open? Sorry to barge in. You're still open, right? Uh, kitchen's closed, but we have all the coffee you could want. Oh, that's all a lad needs. You don't sound like you're from around here. No, I'm from no. Ireland. 
I mean, I used to be. A long time ago. Dude, he looks like me. That guy's my twin! He loves coffee, he drives a car, and he has a beard. Your conversation is normally a two-way thing. Oh god, sorry, I was busy talking to the people at home. Sorry, I was conversing with them, not you, it's rude. I'm, uh, headed east. Oswald Street. Oh, so do you want the good news or the bad news first? Uh, bad news, please, always. I love a good bit of bad news. Again, I'm Irish. Ah, uh, okay, go on, hit me with the bad news first. Fearless, I like it. Well, you missed the turning. It's like half an hour back the way you came. Ow! Good news is, I know the way. We'll be headed that way myself soon, anyway. Hang about and I'll show you the way, if I can bum a lift. Oh! Sure. Uh, to be honest, I can do with the company. I don't know if- Wasn't looking forward to cycling in this rain, anyway. Oh, it's your bike. Nothing creepy, though. I'll kick your ass if you try anything. If you try anything. <laughs> hey, I'm just relieved to be off that road. Where are we, anyway? Welcome to the Last Stop Cafe. Best coffee this side of the A5. Don't get a lot of customers these days, though. Maybe because you're in the bum fucking nowhere. Oh, yeah. Help yourself to coffee. I'll be done in five. And maybe because you're giving away the coffee for free. <laughs> uh, tips. So I never caught your name. You didn't the tip, you know. Uh, Steven! Oh, I... Thanks, though. Oh, I wasn't tipping. I was stealing your money. Anyway, I work here now. Um, some tips would be nice. You're just gonna sit here conversing all day. Yeah, it's not a fucking library. Coffee's done. Ah, nice cup of the black stuff, huh? A nice old cup of the brown. Well, those tables are looking lovely and clean. You're doing an absolute fucking blinder of a job. Oh, could you deal with that? Just mess with the dial until it finds a signal again. Samantha, every time I hear the static, I think of you drinking this cup of warm, good, dirty black beans. Reminds me of the time we used to go hiking out west. You in your hot pants and me in my overalls because uh, my fashion sense was just terrible. I'm always thinking of you, Samantha. <laughs> Sorry, uh, you must love cleaning tables. The radio said burn the non-believers. What should I what should that mean? Backstreet boys are on. Am I supposed to do something more with it? Let me go behind the counter because I work here. All around, oh, this is lovely. I don't know if I can use this music, but I'm liking it. Just whatever music is playing. In the rain. I don't know the song, but I knew the lyrics. Maybe if we get further away, the copyright police won't catch me. No! Oh. Again, that's the second time this week. Thank God you're still alive. I thought I was gonna turn around and you were just Hold gonna, like, turn to me. Here, somewhere. A lighter. I had a Tomb Raider interview- inventory this whole time. Interview. Oh, my father's journal. It's kinda hard to read in the dark, isn't it? Oh, never mind, I have subtitle vision. To whom it may concern. Packed into the pages of this book, you will find my life's work. A means with no end, a fruitless garden. Thirty years of questions with no answers. I fear that these questions juxtaposed with concepts so foreign they can drive a man insane. We'll never find their answers. Much like my own hollow ambition, some things never come to fruition. I only hope that these tattered pages may serve to prove that we are more than ourselves and that our perception of reality is merely a veil over our own ideals and hunger to understand this world. I have many regrets. The garden is not one of them. Okay, there's a lot of reading. I can't do it all in that voice. It'll get annoying. The first day. I remember the first day like it was only yesterday and tomorrow much like it was today. And next week was kind of like last year. So full of ambition and wonder, the opportunity to work on something truly life-changing. Are we gonna get some, like, sci-fi, eldritch truth, Lovecraft kind of stuff going on in this game? Because I'm all for that. We were grouped into three research teams, where I was heading up field team one, the second field team by Dr. Williams, and the third team were based in the facility with Dr. 
Kuznetsov at the helm. The site carried an air of apprehension to its grounds, a feeling of helplessness in the face of the unknown. But we were people of science, specialists in our field, and it just so happened that field was one of sodden marshland in northern Wales. Precautions were in place, appropriate fail-safe measures established, and for all intents and purposes, we were safe for now. Shelter. The concrete hive of ambition, a bittersweet turnaround from what was once gleamed as the town's last vestige should the war turn sour. We kept the door ajar for the first few weeks. The overbearing stench of fresh masonry paint did no favors for the already dank corridors and stagnant air. Rooted under the lands like a great oak, the bunker sprawled across the containment zone, the perfect halfway house between affected sites. Some of the world's greatest scientific minds were here now, confined to steel desks in a tomb of cinder. Oh my god, there's so much to read. It wasn't long before the first incident. My heart hangs heavy for those we have lost. There's nothing, uh, or there's something about this place that weighs on you, a creeping sense of dread slowly bleeding into despair. After the second incident, the Institute must have recognized something was wrong. Fresh boxes of supplies arrived days after. The water was somewhat sweeter than before. We thought nothing of it, of course. We were naive. I know now the supplies are laced with lithium, just enough to take the edge off, but not to cloud our judgment. Should I tell them? Is that responsible? It's been two weeks since... It's been one week since you looked at me. Since the last incident. Maybe this is for the best. The village of Hearth. Hearth was like a time capsule, a once thriving village turned ghost town in a matter of weeks. Sorry, I'm just reading my dad's journal here for a second. I know the lights are out, but we'll get there eventually. What are you going to do? Something in the dark? A fitting descriptor, if a little histrionic. Our team has had more sightings there here than any other, likely due to the unholy amount of lives that lost at the cont contamination. Are we talking about fucking ghosts? Not fucking ghosts, that's quite hard. Although the ectoplasm does make it quite easy. But, an impurity of the mind, that's what we call it. The same sickness that has now taken the lives of three of my protégés. It spread like wildfire, fueled by the close-minded culture of this village, had bred through generations. Many did not heed the warnings, many refused to leave. Some of them are still here. You can feel them. Jesus Christ, how, okay. We have two more pages to go. Uh, Bravo site. There's something about this room, a chill that washes over you as you step through the door. Situated in the oldest building in the village, there's history here, a lot of it. These glimpses into time, echoes of past conversations, they tell a story of our narrative. Fractured like a house, no more. Okay. Alpha, the outlier of the three sites. The Alpha site has been our most reliable source of quantitative data, with frequent, almost predictable readings across the board. A once bustling roadside cafe, now a forgotten memory. Bro. We're in a cafe right now! I'm not- I'm not out here trying to catch ghosts, alright? I just wanted a cup of coffee! This'll do nicely! I'm just looking for a cup of coffee on the way home, I don't want ghosts! Uh, anyway, sorry to keep you waiting. Uh, my dad liked to write a lot. Uh, alright, lighter. That's better! I love smokers. You wouldn't mind taking a look, would you? Fuse boxes in the back. Uh, okay, I guess. Last time I was waiting the four fuck hours it. for an electrician. If I die, it's all your fault. You better not go back to cleaning tables. <sighs> Alright, if I'm not back in five- Are you the ghost? If I'm not back in five minutes, just wait longer. So, what am I looking for here? Kitchen. Right. Maybe you should take a shit first before I shit my pants. I. Uh, this is phasmophobia all over again. I'll walk in here and I'll just hear. Adult. Kill. I'm. I am out here trying to fucking catch a death. I don't want to wake up dead in the morning. Lights only. Okay, left and right. Hey, Neira. A bunch of these fuses are fried. Anira, do you want to come out and help me? At all, at all. Oh. Screwdriver added to the inventory. Man, I love how old school this feels. Some of you didn't even play games this old. It's jammed. Luckily, I've got a handy screwdriver that I found. I call him Flathead. Nice. I love that sound effect. All right. Anira, Afara, wherever you are, 
I'm not going to do this now. The fuse is dead. That's why he said, oh, I can take out the third one. Who needs power to everything else? Who needs heating? Who needs coffee? Who needs fridge? All I care about are lights. Hey, uh, no need to thank me or anything. Amira? Why do I suddenly feel like Jumanji is happening? Oh, oh god! Oh god, that's much, much, much worse than I expected! What the hell? Oh, they gave me the creepies all in my GPs! No! I hate this game! Uh, last up cafe. Hello? I'm sorry, I don't speak demon! Fuck, man. This got way scarier than I was expecting it to. I thought I'd come in and she'd be like... Hi, did you fix them? Bitch was up in the roof, contorting, like a fucking Britain's Got Talent contestant. Hello? I would like to get the fuck out of here, please. What are you summoning? What kind of weird shit are you into? Oh, I thought I was picking up a camera. Apparently I'm going out the door. Is her bike gone missing? Ah, lads. Somebody took the feckin' wheel off the bike. So wait, you might as well just take the chain off or something. This is a load of shite, lads. That's not on now. It's just mean. Can I go further on foot? Oh, I can. I can, I shouldn't, and I am. Maybe I should just leave in the car. This is a bad idea. Adira! Where are you? No answer. Oh, this, this is bad. Siren head gonna come out and kill me? Walking down and all you hear then is You know how siren head be? Left, right. Left, right. Well, you know what to say. If you're not right, you're wrong. I don't want to be here anymore. I would like to go home through the door. What is that? Hello? My trusty lighter will help me. I'll burn you or I'll breathe secondhand smoke on you. And then in 50 years, you're really going to regret it. Is that Siren Head? Oh, you're summoning something. You're into some weird shit, Anira. I don't know much about the cosmonology and the, the haunted mansions and the ghosty paranormalies. But I know enough to know that this is creepy shit. Thunder, lightning. My lighter's still alive in the middle of all of the rain that's coming down, which is astonishing, actually. I have a feeling that we're going to find, like, Cthulhu in the woods. Oh, no, no, no. Uh-uh, uh-uh, no. I've played enough of these games. I've watched enough movies. I've shot enough pants to know that, no, oh, that's bad. What's in there? No, I probably should just leave. No, big gamer man, Jack Spadicey, here to do the business. I'm going in, lads, cover me. I hate it. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> oh, we're in different timelines all the time. All right, I regret it. <laughs> I don't want to be here. Follow the luminous shrooms. Or take a few. It'll probably make it better. Before we go to the scary cabin of death, let's take the boat and go home. An old rowboat. The oars are missing. <laughs> I'm sorry, Thor. <laughs> I don't want to be here either. Mmm, ectoplasm. That's a ghost for sure. Yeah, tastes like ass. No, I would know. This is good, right? Are you full of shrooms? Oh, there's fucking pentagrams in the ground, lads. Oh, that smell. I told you, the ectoplasm. The scarlet note. Researcher, Dr. Nisha Baines. Following strong displacement, singular source, clear audible chatter, further study of a moderate displacement, two stories, weak displacement, two stories. Huh? Okay. What if I just get attacked by a giant mushroom? I'm back! This is a really smart idea. I'm a very clever person. 
This definitely isn't going to end badly for me. You know when you're driving down the street and you're trying to look for some place, and then you find a cafe, and then girls crawl on a rooftop, and there's like coffee coming up from the ground, and then you go into the woods and you find a bunker and you go inside? Yeah, me neither, because nobody does that. That's weird. Most people would leave. Not my problem. Out of sight, out of mind. Oh, come on! I was just getting into the good bits! Look at this! So cool! Chasing static. Fuck yeah! I'm super excited for the rest of this to come out. The full game will feature professional voice acting. I like the voice acting. It, it felt very real. Uh, two hours of original music and an engrossing story, complemented by non-linear exploration across multiple open environments. To keep up to date with development, you can follow us at the links below. Heck yeah! Let's go! I want to play that game when it's out. That was really, really good. That was genuinely very impressive. I'm super excited to see more of that game. I can't wait to play the full thing. I don't know how long it's going to be or anything like that. I just thought there was a demo out, and it looked really fun. I liked the style of it a lot. Um, and it genuinely was freaking me out, so good job! Excellent! But if you thought that that was scary, you're not even ready for the sheer terror that's about to come next. The terror that is Sponge Massacre! What's up, Sponge Robert? What are you doing in the corner there? What's going on? <laughs> Please don't kill me. <laughs> I'm a goofy goober. <laughs> SpongeBob hasn't gone to work in a very long time. He's been acting suspicious. Bikini Bottom Police got a call from Mr. Krabs. He reported strange noise coming from his home. The next day, Patrick, Squidward, and Sandy were reported missing. Bikini Bottom Police decided to raid SpongeBob's house. You play as one of the police officers of the Bikini Bottom Police. Finally, a game for me. I've always wanted to be a Bikini Bottom Police officer. Let's go! Oh god! But, oh sorry, misfire! Misfire! I, I had a long day. Uh, the stress is getting to me. I I misclicked. I have terrible trigger discipline. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, oh Jesus Christ! I'm I'm sorry. I'm so Did you guys even put any bullets in my gun? Am I a joke to you people? Come on! your pants up! Find seven Krabby Patties to open the secret door in the kitchen. Could you guys come in with me? Please! <laughs> I don't want to be here. Oh, God. Why is your house so much bigger than I thought? Are these, uh... These are Krabby Patties, right? Oh, God. Triple X flour? Why do you have kinky flour in your kitchen? SpongeBob! Don't do it, SpongeBob! Down to the ground! SpongeBob, no! Sorry, this is my stomach. I had a big lunch. Okay. <laughs> Let it be known that if SpongeBob came at me in a corridor, I would have no trouble putting 700 bullets in him. I'm a goofy goober, yeah. Gary! Gary, you gotta get out of here, man. He hasn't got any pants on. Gary! Oh, Jesus Christ! Sorry, Gary! Get out of here, Gary. You gotta fucking run, man. You gotta fucking run. SpongeBob's gone crazy. Patrick! Are you okay? We will once for yes and twice for no! Patrick? Uh, maybe it's the way you dress. What's wrong with the way I dress, Patrick? What the fuck is wrong with you? I'm here to help. Ah. Uh, a COVID shrine. SpongeBob? Oh god, why is your house a maze? Ing. Patrick, oh god, he's left his little puddle on the ground. Why does it look like it's got the Homer Simpson's face in it? Aye, 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 aye. That's the last thing I want to hear before I die, isn't it? SpongeBob? Don't oh, do it, SpongeBob, I have a family. Why can't I get this one? Oh, oh, Jesus, I'm strong. You see that? You see that? Ha! Oh, come near me, SpongeBob. I'll do this to you too. Yeah! Yeah, try it now! Try it now, SpongeBob! Thought not. Bitch. Ah! I'm a goofy goober, yeah. No. Squidward? No, that's not you. No, oh God, Barnacle Boy, what did he do to you? Please, no. If Barnacle Boy got, 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 what happened to me? SpongeBob? I'm just making sure, you never know in these circumstances. He could be a zombie. 
What's down there? Lunchbob? It's me, your friend Spadoisy. Nobody make a smell. Oh, what's the deal? This is all the way! Why is this so scary? Oh, Jesus, he's massacring! SpongeBob! Why did you kill Sandy, SpongeBob? I'm not nervous. Are those my shitty thoughts getting out? Oh no, Plankton! The fuck are you? Plankton, no! <laughs> I get him, guys. Don't you worry. That sponge is gonna wish he was a mop. Okay, that's what? Five? Four? Six? He, the sponge could be around any fucking corner. Don't worry, Plankton. I'll save you. Uh, I think you're already dead, bud. Next time, put him up! Now, I've been playing a lot of Valorant. I know how to hold an angle. Is that the sound of SpongeBob sawing off someone's legs? No, Squidward! <laughs> Why is it playing without you? <laughs> Oh no, he's dead. Oh, is that the boat down there? I thought it was some like beefy dude. I'll get him, Squidward. SpongeBob, why are you killing all of your beloved friends? Okay. Oh god. <laughs> Holy fuck! I actually thought I wasn't supposed to look around! You were murdered! And your body was found by Officer Nancy nine days later. Three more people were missing and police decided not to intervene with the sponge. Interfere- Excuse me. I would like a rerun of that because I feel like that, that was unfair. I'm not afraid of you this time! You can fucking Jumanji me all you want! I'm getting these Krabby Patties and I'm going home and I'm gonna shoot you in the face! Okay, there's two. Patrick, it's okay. I'll shoot you first, so I'll put you out of your misery. There you go. Good job. I ain't afraid of you. I ain't afraid of anything this time. I'm gonna bust some caps in your knees, SpongeBob. Do you even have knees? Well, we're about to find out if they go pop. Nice. One more to go. And then I'm turning around and I'm shooting the first sponge I see. Calm down, Plankton. What if I get it backwards? Oh, shit. Oh shit! Ah! Am I just supposed to die? I did all that again, just to look foolish. Bravo, Mr. Sponge! Bravo! No, you got me! You got me! I am the fool here! I am the one- Look, see this? This face is someone who looks foolish right now. Ending one of two! How do I get the other ending? Guys, I figured it out. That's five. That's six. And this is seven. I get the crowbar and I go back. I don't even go to the final one. That's an eighth Krabby Patty. That's a bait and switch Krabby Patty. <laughs> I just gotta get the crowbar next to Squid Man and then I can get out. I can go to the secret door. That's bait. That's bait. Don't go for that one. Don't go for that one. A uh, little gamer pro tip. I have no idea what happens now though. We gotta be vigilant for the sponge. Uh oh. What does it say on the wall? Don't try to leave. Oh, I'm a try. Oh, I'm a try. SpongeBob? What are you doing with that sp shotgun, SpongeBob? Why do you have a shotgun, SpongeBob? Oh, God. Mr. SquarePants, I'm afraid you're under arrest. Do it. Do it. <laughs> what? 
What? Am I being framed for the murder? I want to go home. I want to go home. Oh, God. You left SpongeBob's house confused and scared. SpongeBob got what he deserved. He killed nine people in four days. Never thought this would happen. I guess the demons got to him. SpongeBob's, Patrick's, and Squidward's houses were abandoned. Bikini Bottom is traumatized. They're not the only ones. I don't have to go to the SpongeBob the same way ever again. Oh, God. The terror continues. Scared yet? Well, you're about to be. Because here comes two of the scariest things ever imaginable. You've heard of Five Nights at Freddy's. Uh, boo. And you've heard of Among Us. Welcome to Five Nights Among Us. Who is going to be sus? Who's going to survive? Among Us? Among Us? We're going to find out. Okay. What do I do? Uh, hello. Hello, hello. <laughs> Uh, hello, crewmate, and welcome to your first day on the job at the Skeld International Security System. Thank you. Your work today will be done at the Skeld, <laughs> a ship in outer space. The Skeld. A red imposter has been spotted on the ship, and legend has it that he will come into your office and it, suss on you. He's in electrical. Imposter. Oh, God, I no, he's not. I that you close the doors to stop him from sussing. He's in lower engine. If you would like to track the imposter through the shit. What the fuck? What the hell? That happened so fast! What are you doing? You didn't even finish the fucking phone call yet! Uh, hello. Hi! Hello, hello. Listen, buddy. A red imposter has been spotted on the ship. I see him, yeah! And legend has it. Okay! The there we go! There we go! The is he gone I now? I suggest that you close the doors to stop him from sussing on you. Good luck, crewmate. There's an emergency meeting happening. Should I be there? No, oh, no, reactor's going off. I, I messed up my sounds, bro. Okay, he can't get to me through there. He has to go right there. I got this. I played Among Us before. Number one IQ man here. That means he left, right? Oh, there he is. Oh, he's in storage. All right. Where'd he go? Oh, he's still in storage. All right. Then pan back faster. Oh, he's gone. Shite, shite, shite. Okay, he's in electrical. He's in electrical. He's doing wires. He's doing wires. He's doing the three spinny things. Maybe he'll vent out and kill somebody in med bay, huh? Maybe. I sure do hope he's not sus in Among Us. Looking a little sus, bro. Uh-oh. He's in lower engine. That means the next move is to come straight from my asshole. Don't do it. Don't do him, asshole precious. Halfway there, baby. Among Us, Among Us, Among Us. Mm -mm. Take a while to bang on that door there, sir. It'll be fine. Just let the timer bleed out. Just stay there at the door. Don't be sus. I thought I saw your wires, bro. But turns out you're lower engine. You're not where you said you were, little sus man. Is he still there? No. You gone now. Lads, he's all over the... Ah! Okay. 4 a.m. 4 a.m. Eyes closed, I'm slowly falling to the imposter that is sus right now. Come on, I got this. I'm so good at Five Nights at Freddy's. They call me Mr. FNAF when I go outside. Get free Starbucks for that. Also, they call me th the Among Us man. <laughs> okay, you're in storage, buddy. <laughs> Likely story. What were you doing? I didn't see you go to the top fuel. And he disappears from here. He's coming straight for me. I can feel it. <laughs> Every time. Every time. I can't go to lower engine. I want to know where you are, man. Can I call an emergency meeting and vote him out? Okay, he's in storage again. All right, 5 a.m. Here we go. Victory bells are coming in, boys. Please still be there. Nope. He's in electrical. He must have vented. I saw him on cams. What does that mean? Hello? What the hell did that mean? Is he in storage again? I don't know where he is. Nope. Oh, cafeteria? Oh, he's in lower engine again. Oh, he's moving fast. Ah, oh, we got 10 seconds left. 10 seconds left, we can do this, come on. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, we voted him out. Oh, crewmate victory. Damn it, feels
feels good to be a gangster. Well, that was Five Nights Mongus. I don't think there's a whole lot more to it that I could do. Um, that and I don't like the stress. <laughs> That's gonna do it for me. I hope you got spooked. There were some fun games in that one. As always, I'm gonna leave all of these games down in the description. So if you guys want to go play them for yourselves, if you want to be sus or not sus, then you can go click on those. Also, apparently 40% of the people who watch my videos aren't subscribed. So if you want to, hit that subscribe button down below. It's free and you can always unsubscribe whenever you want to. But these are fun. I'm glad I'm back playing three scary games. Recommend me some games and as always, stay spooky. As we depart here today, we find ourselves wondering what is in the unknown going forward. When will we ever be safe again? Pleasant dreams. Ah!